and welcome to my channel. I'm here to do a project share. What I made for Lonnie. Her YouTube is Lonnie's Crafts. We decided to do a swap of um, certain things and she wanted to do a purse but we had to do a theme of something she liked and what I liked. So her theme was um, Coco Chanel. So I had to make a purse and another item with Coco Chanel and then make another item of whatever you choose. So with that being said, let me share what I made for Lonnie. So, there you go. Here is my Coco Chanel purse. It's made out of chipboard and cardstock and felt. And it has lace and the little uh, sticky uh, tape, what do you call it, a of uh, gems that you get from Michaels and you got ribbon. And then I put down here a little hook here with a keychain. I kept it in the bag so it doesn't get all messed up. So I also put some snaps to keep it shut. So let me see if I can open this up. There you go. And here we go. Here's the inside. It's felt. And I have some goodies in here for her. Some ribbon she can use. Here is the inside. Nice space. And then in here I have a little pocket I made. And then I made these little little pocket envelope thank you cards. So I made I put five of them in here for her. So we put that back in. There you go. And this is what it looks like. I have the flat back. I made this uh, out of my resin piece. And then in the back it looks like this. I scored it. And I have little snaps on the side. So I hope she likes it. So let me snap it back up, move it out of the way. Away. And then I decided to make a little organizer type thing that she could put on her desk. It's made out of um, Coco Chanel paper. So let me pull these out. And here's what it looks like. I made these resin pieces. Okay, and like this. It's got one, two, th one, two, three, four pockets. And these are little images. I made these resin pieces and these little images that I bought a um, digi set download. So that's that. Put some trim around it. And then I have in here, I have some fuss I fussy cut some stuff out. Here we got some of the flowers. Okay, and this is the envelope I made out of the paper, I, uh, digital paper. Here I have those thank you that I cut out on my Cricut. Banners. So that's one envelope. Here I have in here some of the fuzzy cuts of the perfume. Coco Chanel perfume, some purses, and then a the book collection of books, ephemera so she can use. So that's in this one, and this is this design. Here I have this design. I made this envelope, and I have some spares that she can do fussy cut. 
So I have this image, then these flowers, and I have these so she can cut out the purses and the perfume, and these in here so she can do her own fussy cut. So I give her plenty. Then I made some cards that has a little, she can do a little note when she sends it out to people. Or she can use this and make her own card and then cut this to measure on top of the card like this. Like I did here. So, so I got one and then got these and then one in here. So it's two. Three, four, and then five. So here's the cards that she can make. Put that in that pocket. And then, of course, I made some envelopes, I mean, some cards out of card stock, and then I got foam, and then I got that gem, a piece of gem, and then I used some um, glossy uh, glitter, I don't know what you call it, that glitter accent type stuff, glitter glue or whatever, I don't know what it's called. And then I made this one, same way, and then I made this one. And she can do the same thing. All she has to do is just, you know, cut out her own card stock to make a card. <laughs> Excuse me. And then that's it. So I got three of those. And then let's put this in here. I'm going to leave that one out because it got kind of bulky. So then in here, I just left the leftovers of all the leftovers that were left for them. So she can make cards, ATC cards with this, you know, Coco Chanel paper. And this is, um, paper is 110 cardstock. And then in here, I made this little pouch envelope. And I cut out some tags and some scallops and some banners out of the little leftover of the paper. So she can use those. And that's that one. And then in here I have more of the thank you cards that I showed you from the purse. I have this one. And all she has to do is write a little, little sentiment or something inside. So she's got like 12 total of these. I thought this was a good idea. I love this paper. If you guys want to know where I got this um, digital from, I'll put that in the description as well. And then this was like this. Because it comes, I mean, it comes with different, uh, I think it came with five files and it has like no four files and I think it has like four different sheets of paper images of paper okay so we put this in here that's two gigs in there so that's another one for her and then I made this is something else that I know she likes so I made a Betty Boop tag I'm going to punch a hole or something that she can use it or she could just put it on her her um room and then of course I made a pocket letter it has her name on it this is not the typ typical pocket letter because I did not leave it for her to uh, for me to put anything in it so it's more like a display However she feels, I have here the Coco Chanel, as you can see here, I got the 
the Chanel, her name, and all the images of the Coco Chanel paper. And then on this side, I did Betty Boo. I was going to attach this one here, but I figured that she can do something with that one however she likes. So this is all these images I was able to get offline. And I did fuzzy cut. And that's what I did. Okay. And then I made a tassel for her. Got little beads on it. And then I put this one on here. It says, Cancer picked the wrong diva. And then I have on the back the Chanel, Coco Chanel. And then we also had to do, I had to do one more thing. And I could have done, she wanted a clock. And I did a resin clock for her. I don't have the batteries in it because I took it out so it doesn't, you know, wear out. So I did a Chanel clock. I hope she likes it. And the back, I have it that she can hang it up. So I hope she likes that. And then I made one of these for her. These are considered a napkin holders. And this is the true way to make that napkin holder because I found out from a lot of people telling me how to make it in my video. So I finally figured it out. And then instead of making it a napkin holder, I made it for her to have her notepads in, a notepad in it. I cut it down so she can, when she needs to write something, she just writes it and take it off. And then, of course, I have her a couple of little goodies. I got her some nice little pens, some chocolates for her, and some goodies over here for her. But I will link her channel in the description. By the time this is up, she would have it, and I will have hers. So I will link her video of her opening it, and then maybe showing what she's sending me or you'll see another video of that. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Lonnie, thank you for swapping with me. And until my next video, guys, bye.